Brendan Fraser was 23 years old when he borrowed his mom's Chevy Spectrum and drove from Seattle to Los Angeles in pursuit of his dream to be an actor. Within a year, he landed his first role in the surprise 1992 hit Encino Man, then another alongside Matt Damon in School Ties. Fraser became a bona fide star as George of the Jungle and the face of the Mummy movies, which together made more than a billion dollars at the box office. But then something strange happened. Fraser seemed to disappear, at least from the Hollywood spotlight. Now he is back undeniably and nominated for an Academy Award. Brendan invited us to his home for a fireside Sunday sit down. Not a lot else to do around here than this kind of stuff. You really live in the country life, man. I love it. <laughs> when Brendan Fraser needs a break, he takes a walk out back in the sprawling yard of his upstate New York home. Is part of the appeal of this place that's so far away from your business and your life yes, it feels outside of here? feels good to be removed. I'm a real firewood guy. Yeah. <laughs> Probably a little bit too I much. I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> After living quietly in recent years, Fraser again is one of the hottest names in Hollywood, right. thanks to his performance in The Whale. Think about that. Think about the truth of your argument. The Darren Aronofsky-directed film that has earned the 54-year-old his first Oscar nomination for Best Actor. It's been a, a real um, reflective time for me, a meditative time, a grateful time, humbling time in many ways. And uh, I feel fortunate that for whatever it is that's happening right now, that it didn't happen 20, 25 years ago, because I would not have been license to operate that equipment at that time in my life. It would have been too much too soon. For us mortals, what is it like to get a call that says you're nominated for an Academy Award? I watched the broadcast and um, saw Hong Chow get nominated and we shouted for joy and um, everyone else and then it was my category and they said my name and I got really quiet and everyone else shouted. <laughs> <laughs> and then my kids uh, appeared with a fudgy the whale cake. <laughs> That's my favorite part. Has there ever been a more appropriate dessert for an occasion than fudgy the whale? It was the first time I'd ever seen it. I just went, hey, where'd you guys get a cake that's shaped like a whale? They looked at me kind of like, where have you been? <laughs> for more than a decade, Fraser has been working, but out of the limelight. The high praise he is receiving for the whale is part of a comeback that has been dubbed Renaissance. I'm glad you used that term because I was not going to use it. <laughs> I just get it out of the way. I'm, I mean, I, I, on the one hand, it's funny, but then I'm also hearing, like, you know, everybody else is having a Renaissance ending on their name, too. <laughs> right. I'm curious what connected with you at first, just the idea, the pitch from Darren Aronofsky. I knew that this was the story of a man who'd been living alone. He'd been harming himself by overeating, and he has very little time left and to save his his very soul he his quest is to redeem himself in the eyes of his daughter from whom he is estranged this is not a film about obesity this is a film about a man who must reconnect with his daughter full stop when was the first time you felt okay we are reaching people we have moved people with this film in venice at that screening That was the famous six-minute standing ovation. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> Willie, I think it depends on who's holding the stopwatch. <laughs> if it's an Italian stopwatch, they're like, it's eight minutes. No, it's a 25 minute. Um, So, I, look, I'm just glad people were on their feet. <laughs> Let's go with six. That's good. Okay, six that seems words. fair. I'll take six. Do you see in this, too, Brendan, what a lot of people see, which is... Not only was it a great performance, but people are rooting for you. People are happy to see you. That's, that's nice. I, I'm, gr I'm grateful. Um, I, I've never been that far away, but um, I did step out of the spotlight for a spell there to sort some things out in my life, to take uh, stock of who I am, uh, where I'm going, and what my aspirations are. Did you make this path or was this here? This is cool. I've been maintaining it. <laughs> yeah. Fraser once was everywhere. 
His father's work moved the family around the world. And when Fraser arrived in Hollywood, it wasn't long before he was fronting major blockbuster movies like George of the Jungle and the Mummy franchise. Let's get out of here! Whoa! I was really out of the gate early, sometimes like in competition on opening weekends with my own project. I was also kind of on a merry-go-round and wanted the music to stop, you mm. know? It can get to be a bit much. Then, you know, you get off the merry-go-round and you're wondering, wow, gee, it's quiet around here. Maybe I should get back to work. Mm. The music stopped in part because of health problems from years of doing his own stunts. The physical stuff was one piece of it. Yeah, yeah. Surgeries. Uh, yeah, I, I just that's a combination of getting banged up on the job and having some predisposition for being a tall guy and a few injuries along the way. And um, that and a mindset of, I better be earning this. I've learned that you can't literally throw yourself into the job in a way that can harm you. When did the archery thing start for you, Brandon? Around the time I had just come out of my third surgery. I couldn't go to the gym and I needed to find something to focus on. Ooh, right on it. Proof of his marksmanship. <laughs> Dumb luck. <laughs> How long did that take you to get to that place where you said, okay, I think I'm centered, grounded. I'm ready to dive back in. I never uh, thought the only way to be back is to do something exclaims, I am here. It, it, I wanted to be a part of a story that I cared about. Fraser has found it in The Whale, a tale of redemption for its protagonist and for the man who plays him. I did everything I could because I'm out of moves. I don't know how to do my job any differently than what I did. Hmm. That felt a little bit vulnerable and risky at the same time, but it also made me feel like, uh, there it is. Ha have a look. I got I, uh, I got nothing to fabricate. You can watch The Whale on a number of streaming services, and you can see if Brendan wins that Oscar two weeks from tonight. Our big thanks to Brendan for having us over and a nice cameo there for Carvel's iconic Fudgy the Whale Cake. Don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Sit Down podcast to hear the full interview with Brendan Fraser. You can find that on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get yours. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.